Hey, Tim DeStasio here. We're back at Psychrometric Saturday once again. Thank you for joining me. And we have pivoted to talking about wet bulb temperature. Just as a review from last time, wet bulb temperature is a combination of not only our dry bulb temperature, which is this red scale, but also our moisture, which we can read that in either dew point or grains or moisture, which is our blue scale. Of course, our red lines go up and down, our blue lines go left and right. So when we're talking about a combination of dry bulb and moisture, then we're going to be using a purple line that is diagonal. So we're going to learn today how to plot points on the psychrometric chart based on dry bulb and wet bulb. Remember that all we need to know is two properties of the air, we can plot a point on the chart, and from there we can determine what all the other uh, properties of the air are. So let's take an example. We've got two cities, Phoenix, Arizona, and Charlotte, North Carolina. We're going to plot those two points here on the psychrometric chart, and then we're going to try to determine which one has more heat in the air. If you're looking at these two cities, which city do you think has more heat in the air? Well, let's first take Phoenix, Arizona. It's got a 110 degree dry bulb temperature. They're known for their really hot summers. And our wet bulb temperature is 70 degrees. Let me show you how to plot that on the chart. So we're gonna go all the way over here to 110 degree dry bulb, and then we're gonna take that line up until it intersects with the purple diagonal wet bulb line, and we're gonna put our dot right here. Now we've got a point that we've plotted. Let's say, for example, we want to know what the dew point is in Phoenix, Arizona. Well, all we would have to do is just carry a line all the way to the left, and we can see that our dew point is somewhere between 20 and 30 degrees. Now let's take Charlotte. Charlotte has a dry bulb of 90 degrees, which is much lower than Phoenix, but its wet bulb is a little bit higher at 75 degrees. So we're going to plot it. 90 degrees here. We're going to take it up until it's 75 degrees somewhere between 70 and 80 here. A regular or a real psychrometric chart is gonna have all the lines that you need. I'm just trying to keep this chart simple. So here is our second point. Let's just ask what is our dew point? Well, if we take this point, we've plotted that because we've had two properties of air. We wanna know what another property of air is that we don't have. We can determine that simply by carrying that line all the way to the left and we see that it's somewhere between 60 and 70 degrees of dew point. Now back to the original question, which city has the most heat in the air? Well, you actually can ignore the dry bulb temperature and you only look at your wet bulb temperature. Whichever one has the highest wet bulb temperature, that one has the most heat in the air because it is accounting for the humidity in the air. Look at the difference in the dew point between Charlotte and, and Phoenix, Arizona. There's a huge gap here in dew point between the two, and that means moisture and there's heat in that moisture. Well, you may be wondering what we're going to do here with these two return air temperatures. We're going to talk about how to charge a system using superheat and a fixed orifice metering device and why wet bulb is so important. We're going to talk about that next week. But for now, thanks for watching Psychrometric Saturday.